Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our Angular 14 tutorial. So part of this video, I am going to explain Material UI Autocomplete. And also the service point of view, I am going to use this .NET Core Web API. So here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. So first, I have to create one Angular application with the version of 14. So already I have created the application, the application in running mode. So this is the basic template provided by Angular. Here I am going to click this link. So it will redirect into this Angular material. Then let me click this get started. So here we have the command ng add Angular material. So just to copy this command and you have to install in your application. That stuff also I am completed. And now let me go to the components. So in the components as you mentioned I am going to use this autocomplete. So let me consider this basic autocomplete. So the first step is we have to check this APA. Here we can get this model information we supposed to include in our application. So basically uh, if you are including any model we supposed to include in our app dot model. But this material UI you may be going to use for some other models also. So I have created the one common model here. This is material model. So here I just created one TS file. I just included this ng model. Now let me include this export section. And let me provide it mat autocomplete model. Okay, this is done. I'm going to include two more models. The second one is for input. because this is the one time change. So let me complete it. And the third one is form field. Okay, we have completed from our common model. So now let me go to the app model. Here, let me import it. So then we know the file path, the material model. Okay, we have done it. Now let me include in this import section. And now I'm going to include two more models. One is for reactive form model. And another one is HTTP client model because we are going to consume this uh, external services. So we are supposed to use this HTTP client model also. Okay, this one is belongs to common slash HTTP. So the model name is HTTP client model. Okay, we have done our basic changes from our model side. Okay, wait, showing some error. Okay, now we are good to go. So now let me go to the component side. So here you can see some so existing designs. So let me remove it. Okay, we have removed so let me save it we can see our output now okay so this is fine so now in our example so let me go to the overview okay here we have the HTML and the TypeScript CSS code so first thing is I'm going to copy this whole HTML let me add in our project okay we have done it will throw some error yeah it's fine and also the CSS so finally the TS file so in the TS if you noted oh, they are declared on form control and also they have declared one string array so let me copy the both things I have to include my TS file and this form control yeah now look like our error got resolved so we can check the existing output 
okay it's loaded let me verify yeah it's working fine and here this search option also not implemented so as of now we have the hard code data so let me try to consume the services for the services i am already have my dotnet core service localhost and this is the url 8082 here i am going to use this customer so let me copy it before that i need to create one service here ng generate services service name is master okay the service gets created so here i am going to inject this http client and then i am going to create one function for get customer so return this dot HTTP the method is get method only here. I'm going to pass the URL. That's it and the model I Know exact data type. It's having this code name address. So let me create one interface here So my first data type is name and this is string and the second one is code and other fields are not required as of now and also I need to export it otherwise we cannot use in our other classes or other components okay now we are good to go now let me go to the services once again here I am trying to change the return type so this is the customer okay it's fine and also Okay, now we have completed in our service side. Now let me go to the component. So in the component, first thing is I am going to create one constructor. Here I am trying to inject my services. So my service name is master services. So in the constructor itself, I am trying to access these services. Get customer so let me subscribe it so this dot options equal to item okay here I need to change the data type of these options so, so instead of this string array I am going to provide the class name customer So now I am having the data in these options. So in the options, I am get basically getting these objects. So let me change it here. Instead of this direct options, I am going to provide as the name. And here also. So let me check the output once again. So see now. So the data are loaded from my services. So the Chris Matthew, Ramesh Kumar, Vasim Jaffer, Umesh Yadav. So I am having the list of records. Okay. So now we have two more changes. One is for applying the filter, and the second one is for whatever value I'm just selecting. I supposed to get the value. Okay. So let me do this one first. For doing this one, first I'm going to change this name also. The name is customer. And in this mat autocomplete, I am going to 
create one event so the event is option selected and write one function also select customer so it's supposed to return the selected value okay we have done so let me define my function and we can include in the console so now we can verify this one first let me go to the console here we don't have any changes now I'm trying to select one of the value Vasim Jaffer it's selected see if I'm selecting this Umesh Yadav so it's showing now if you want get this ID means you just to change this value as the code so now I am selecting this Ramesh Kumar so here I am, I am able to get this code and this preview also if you want to showcase this code also so then you have to do like this See now, we are seeing this customer code with our customer name. So now I am going to implement this custom filter. For implementing the filter, let me go to the TS file. Here I am going to define one private function. So it's have only one input, name. So the data type is string and also it's going to return our customer array only let me define one more value and name dot to lower itself so finally this dot option dot filter off okay we have defined our filter function and also I'm going to define one observable variable so the name is final data observable and also the data type will know the same customer only so now I am going to implement this on int function So here this dot final data equal to so let me take the input control value so in the value change I am going to use this pipe option let's start with an empty and also the map
finally I am going to call the filter function here so return if the name contains any value I am going to use this filter here I am going to pass the input as name in the string format if there is no value I am going to return this options okay we have completed our function so currently our filtered data are available in our final data so let me bind this final data here so instead of this options I am going to use this one and this is the observable thing I am going to use this asynchronous pipe also okay application is loading now I am trying to enter one value this is the Chris Matthew so if I am providing this Chris the Chris only it's coming the same time if I'm provide AI though so if I'm selecting this one I'm able to get this ID also so once I'm cleared it will load all the data and defaultly the scrolling bar also enabled so this is all about autocomplete in material UI and as I mentioned I am used this dotnet core 6.0 service only so the consuming the service there is uh, no change we can follow the same steps only still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching